Hi. Today what we're going to do is we're actually going to look at a Wheaton sprinkler system manifold, go through the various parts that are in the manifold, and then spend a little bit of time with the controller, helping uh, each of the growers understand how we set up our controller, and I'm going to take you through it as if it was just taken right out of the box. Okay, so this is a demonstration unit for a Wheaton sprinkler system, and starting on the left side where the water would be coming into the manifold, first thing we see is the filter. Okay, it's a stainless steel 100 mesh filter, a flow through filter. It does need to be maintained, something you have to tell all your growers that based on their water quality, they may have to flush that out once a month, once every six months, once a year. But uh, that's the first thing in the manifold. It'll take out any particle that would ever plug a sprinkler uh, spinner. Okay, we then have that followed by our 40 psi flow control. We always talk about the importance of 50 pounds pressure coming into the manifold. We then regulate that to 40, and we do that so we know there's 40 psi leaving the manifold, heading out into the um, poultry house. Okay, we uh, new to the system, new to the manifold in 2013. We've included a medicator bypass here. Reason being is we have customers telling us or asking us, how do we clean our system? I've had one now for six years, ten years. How do I clean it? Well, by using this medicator bypass, you can now drop the medicator right into a jug of ProxyClean charge our sprinkler lines with ProxyClean, let them sit for 48 hours, flush them out and clean all the biofilm which may uh, build up over time inside the sprinkler system. So that's what this is for. We have a pressure gauge here which again we want to make sure that there's 50 psi when it's coming in. As soon as the sprinklers come on that pressure gauge should drop down to 40 because that's what we have our flow control on there for is to maintain 40 psi. Very very important we never see that pressure gauge drop below 30 pounds pressure when the sprinklers are running. Okay, absolutely critical. A lot of growers think they have enough pressure, but we say watch the pressure gauge while the sprinklers are running. It should never go below 30 PSI.